Hi everyone. What I have for you today is a video about electric wheelchair lighting. I'm specifically making this video for people who don't have a background in electricity. I've been trying to think of if there's any other strategies that could be used to add lights to an electric wheelchair where the person doing it would not have the knowledge that I have or the practical experience with DC electricity. I've purchased a 5 meter length of LED 5050 strip lights and then I've connected it to a 12 volt DC rechargeable lithium battery. Why I'm presenting this to you is that you could just install it by wrapping the lights around the metal tubing that makes up the frame of your electric wheelchair. I've only loosely put this on my wheelchair to demonstrate it. I'm going to be putting these lights on my new wheelchair but I first wanted to get used to the flashing that happens so I won't become unsafe operating my power wheelchair. So I want to start by showing you the three views of these lights in action. This is the side of the wheelchair that does not have the controller or the joystick. So I've just loosely attached it to the metal tubing. I've taken a bit of electrical tape to wrap it on and you would also have the option of some high strength or quick setting glue. There's lots of knockoff brands at the dollar store that would secure this to your wheelchair frame so it doesn't go anywhere. And as I said, you would just wrap it around the metal tubing. And then this is the view at the rear. Why I show you this is to help you know that cars driving behind you would be able to see you the same as lights on a bike, like at, um, on the seat behind you if you're driving on the side of the road with a bicycle. This is the side that has the joystick. So this is the side where my 12 volt battery is kept. These lights have a connection that goes into a controller and then that controller gives the 12 volt DC connection. So it's just a matter of turning on the switch and it gives the lights power and then there's any number of controllers that you can use to turn on and off the lights. So the three things you would need to buy if you were considering this style of wheelchair lights, a 12 volt lithium rechargeable battery and you will need the correct plug adapter for your country you know either the US standard or the Europe standard then you'll need the LED 5050 strip lights the way you can figure out how long you need yours to be is by taking a piece of rope and then twirling it around where you'd want the lights to go and measuring how long this is. There are limits to this. You cannot have more than five meters of these lights on your wheelchair or they will draw too much current beyond five meters and cause an electrical fire. You also need to be aware that you cannot pinch the lights. So if your wheelchair arm goes up like this for a sideways transfer, you would need to leave like a U shape 
so that the lights would bend with the arm and not be pinched. The other consideration, I touched on this earlier, is to use a quick setting gel high strength glue to secure these to the wheelchair frame. Why I'm saying that is the adhesive, at least on what I've bought, hasn't been rugged enough to stand up to the wheelchair and I've had to use another application than, other than what it came with. The costs involved in this were exceptionally reasonable. I purchased these on eBay. The lights themselves cost me about $13 Canadian. The controller and the remote control cost me another $4. And the 12 volt lithium rechargeable battery cost me about $15. There are a few other key points that I want to go over with you. These are all extremely important and you need to pay attention to them. The remote controls for these lights have two different styles. There is radio frequency or RF. Now this is what I've got here for my control and you'll see radio frequency RF. This is the same technology for the radio frequency that a cordless phone uses. The difference between this and a remote control for your TV is the remote control is infrared, meaning it needs to have a direct line of sight to when you're pointing at the sensor. Radio frequency does not need the direct line of sight. I chose the RF wireless because I, you know, there's a lot of dirt when I'm out during the winter, sand, grit, snow, etc. And so if the sensor for infrared became blocked, I would not have control over the lights. So you can understand that it made sense to me that I wanted the radio frequency or RF controller. And then the only other thing that I'm going to sort of share with you is this. It's to make sure that you have the right connection that the battery would plug into. So it's, the, it's a pair of 12 volt connectors. You'll see it here on this photo with the battery connected to the controller. It just plugs right in the same as putting a plug into the wall although the connector is a different shape. 12 volts is very common for CCTV cameras. That's the big hit on eBay. So you could take a look and see what you'll find, but it's the three components you'll need. You'll need the LED 5050 strip lights with an end and then it's connector going into a controller that gives you the 12 volt connector and the remote control and then the 12 volt battery to power it by. So it means when your wheelchair is being recharged you would need to plug this battery in separately. I'm going to tell you that you'll need to charge them about every 100 minutes, but this is only an approximation because it's very subjective to the amount of electricity the battery you buy stores. You could buy a cheap battery and it would need to be recharged much more frequently. If you buy one that's higher quality, it'll last longer between charges. 
my specific need is 40 minutes a day 20 minutes to where I do my physiotherapy 20 minutes back home and the battery is more than able to handle it there is a point where the battery goes into safe mode and it shuts itself off so that you're you're not draining it to where it can't be recharged so again final point of all this do not pinch your wires if you pinch your wires you will cause a short and could cause a fire electricity is something to be respected if you are interested in this idea but don't have quite enough skills you could talk with your service technician for just advice or an industrial electrician I'm going to remind you not to drill any holes in the frame of your electric wheelchair this tends to void manufacturers warranty and the way I've added these on my wheelchair they could just be removed at some point such as if the wheelchair needed to be serviced so it's that type of planning that you need to think about if you're someone that flies with your power wheelchair periodically or what your specific needs are I do have other light videos about wheelchair lighting it is something I'm passionate about because I want to have the best quality of life for myself possible and when this is my means of mobility I'm trying to figure out how to help it be a good tool or resource for me in my life as I engage in my physiotherapy there are other videos on my youtube channel about wheelchair lighting I'll be continuing to add more over time and I invite you to watch these and see what else you can glean from my attempts at this I want to thank you for the time that you spent with me today I really enjoyed making this for you bye for now